If you're new to my channel, I'm Haley Parekh, a new 2021 aspirant. So as you guys have already read the title, this video is going to be an informative one as I'll be discussing the apps which have helped me throughout my NEET uh, preparation journey. So this video is going to be a longer one than usual because I'll be discussing the details of each and every app in brief. To break it short, what I've done here is I have divided my apps into different categories and I'll be listing the timestamps below either in the comment section or the description box. So if you're interested in any particular segment of the video, you can go and check that out. But you can also stick with me throughout the whole video. Okay, so let's get into the video. First app which I have right here is Flip. Not only does this app have a really cool and aesthetic interface, but more than that, it has functions of multiple apps designed at the same place. Firstly speaking, every day you can just set your daily goals along with the time. Here, I'm setting a goal of 2 hours to complete half of the chapter Fluid Dynamics. And I'm doing this just for today. Later, after completing the day, you can check how many goals you have accomplished and that is definitely the happiest part of the day. Psychologically, it is great to feel like you've accomplished something. Extensive statistic tracking means you can hold yourself accountable and look back at what you've worked over the recent days, weeks and months. Next, we have the D-Day where you can set up your important day and track how many days are left in that, I feel uh, checking it out each day makes you come back into reality and strengthen yourself to prepare even harder than ever before. You can also set up your weekly uh, schedule right here. Now, before telling you the next feature, you should start the timer before every study session of yours and you can also check your global ranking right here according to the number of hours you have studied. Like how interesting is this, right? You can also build up your own squad having your tight group of friends and compete among one another and I bet this is going to keep you motivated till the end. We also have a section of flip talk and study log where people all over the globe post motivational quotes, pictures or the study routines. So Flip also has this another option where you can apply a lock over the other apps while you're not studying so that you just do not get distracted. So you can select those apps which you want to, uh, to be unlocked while studying and then set the timer. And as you can see, if you open any app, then mm -hmm, you can do it. The first one is stay focused. Here you can completely track your phone usage in the section usage stats that how many hours do you spend on each app overall and you can also compare who's the lock mode. So let's add a profile. Here uh, I select the number of launches usually being 10 each day but you have many other options such as usage limit, specific time intervals, quick block, number of launches, wait timer and uh, goal based. So you can select among them which is the most preferable for you. And at the end you can also select your own customized motivational quote which will show up each time you try to open a blocked app. The next app we have is Timetable, which is self-explanatory. You can set the timetable for the whole day along with the study hours and it can be displayed on your home page as well. So the next category which we have is the problem solving apps. So you all might have heard of apps like Doubtnut and Instasolve. So instead of installing those apps separately on my phone, what I do is just use Google Lens to scan the question which I have and it will show me multiple websites having the answer to the question. 
So let's say I did not understand the solution of a particular website, I always have other options in my hand. So this is less space consuming and obviously time consuming. I guess that this feature of Google Lens is inbuilt on each one of your phones most probably. Apart from this, uh, there is an app which is called as Photo Math where you can type or scan your equation in which you are facing problem. So the thing which I like most about the app is that it has stepwise solutions to the equations, uh, the thing which we are here after all, right? In this way, you can analyze uh, where you're doing it wrong. You also have solutions to standard books here, most probably, I guess, of foreign authors, though I haven't tried it yet, so I don't know much about that stuff. Now, moving on to our next category. Mm, let's call it as extras. So the app which I have here is Alarmy. Now, do you find it hard to get out of your bed early morning to study? This app will definitely help you. In this application, you have to click a picture of your sink, kitchen or any other such pre-decided places to turn off the alarm, which implies the mission to get out of your bed is achieved. This app has changed my life. I'm a typical lazy teenager who sluggish every morning and sleeps through every alarm, snoozing each alarm one after the other. This app specializes in waking up people like me. To turn the alarm off, you have to solve a math problem, complete a memorization game or take a picture, maybe some other task instead of pressing that snooze button. To be extra strict, what you can do is go in the settings section and then go on dismiss alarm and turn off the mute during mission option. In this way, the timer will ring until no, you haven't complete your task. So you can also check your horoscope or the daily weather report if you're interested. Now, during this lockdown period, digitalization has increased quite a lot and we have many textbooks and important notes in the form of a PDF. Um, so that ends up taking up a lot of memory, right? So you can download this app which is called as Sync which will give you extra 5 GB of storage and here you can also create new folders and organize all of your data. Just thought of sharing some extra information here. Hope it helps. Now comes the category of formula apps. I would definitely suggest after completing the entire chapter, you revise it thoroughly and write down all the formulas yourself in a separate notebook or on a chart paper and stick it at that corner where you're constantly staring when you're bored. Yeah, you're a neat aspirant after all, you have to study all the time. Okay, jokes apart, I'm talking about these apps here so that you can check it in, ca in case you've uh, missed out on any formula after creating your own cheat sheet. So I'll give you two alternatives. The first one is physics formulas. Yeah, that's the app's name. Don't worry, I'll be listing down the links below so it will be easy finding it. This app is my personal favorite because it has important formulas diagrams and even differentiating points most importantly it has all the relevant stuff no doubt you'll find many apps out there but they have much of irrelevant stuff uh, out in it right and the next one which we have is neat physics formula ebook this one has the whole summary of the chapter in the beginning including the points to remember Again, even here we have diagrams and formulas listed, but you'll have more formulas here. The thing is that, suppose when we solve questions, we have to derive a particular formula from the already existing ones we know. But here they also mention those derived formulas, so uh, it becomes more in number. So usually I consider them in the form of questions to practice. Overall, both of these apps are amazing and I use them for their particular different features which they have. Now, for those of you who have HC Verma textbook, either it be volume 1 or volume 2, you might be knowing that the solutions which they have published at the back of the chapter, they are either in the form of options or really basic solutions. 
So this app, which is called HC Verma Solutions Offline, has the solutions in uh, a detailed manner, uh, at least better than what it's given in the actual textbook. Either you can go and search Merit Nation HC Verma Solutions. They have literally the best possible solutions given uh, in their website. So thank you so much for watching the video till the end. I really hope that you all liked all of the suggestions, which I put forth in this video i try to suggest all the possible apps in each category uh, which worked out for me personally and i just thought of uh, sharing uh, all of these apps with you people as well now talking about the physics wala app it's obviously a really good app and i have subscribed to one of its batches so i just thought of uh, you know maybe making a new video on uh, that because how was my experience on that platform and uh, how do I like the teachers and all of that stuff so maybe in some video soon I hope you really liked it uh, thank you so much and bye guys